everybody, it's Matt. Welcome back to the Super Wrench Garage and the Super Wrench Bench. Uh, this is episode 86, and it is a little bit of everything. Uh, part 1. So I'm going to take you through a lot of stuff that's been on Instagram, little projects I've seen, I've done. All stuff that hasn't really made it into a video, but I, I think you might find interesting. So we're going to get this started, and the first thing you're seeing is uh, a woodpecker that I saw in the fall uh, just hammering away, and um, I was able to try to get a little vi uh, video of him. So, and then we'll transition into some other stuff. Alright everybody, so the next thing you're going to see is something I saw cruising around Facebook Marketplace, and it is a Mall Electric Chainsaw. And I figured I'd put this in here for my buddy Ben Mall down in Texas. He's got a great channel. You ought to check him out. We'll also put his logo in here. So Ben, that's for you, buddy. What are you doing, fat dog? Huh, Bella? You've got the best life. You know that dog? In the sunshine, nothing to do. Just enjoying life, aren't you? Look at that smile. Yeah. Who's a smart dog? You are. All right. So here's part one of the new swing set. We got two swings up. And we're going to get a third swing for the middle. And then we'll be on to building the platform for the slide. And so far, it's holding up the Liam, so that's good. So I've been fighting with the drill press. And that nut is buggered and that one is frozen so I cannot tilt the table. So uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do now except keep messing with it. So I'm gonna come back in a few minutes. Drill press problems. Some 300 pound monkey or gorilla broke off and bent the set pin for the tilt swivel so we're gonna have to get, whoops. So we're gonna have to gently get that out of there and, and do a fix. when you get a drill press given to you that was bought at an auction by somebody else. I have to get medieval on this and grind that down. But the problem is we don't want to damage the mating surface. Ask. It's like I tell Liam, use your head for more than a hat rack. Uh-oh, that moved a whole bit. I bet we can punch it out with a punch. So here's the issue. This was a tapered pin And they bent the shit out of it. Look at that. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to figure out a fix. Now this, this would be a time when a lathe would come in handy, but I don't have a lathe. So I'm wondering, why did they do this? Okay, next up on our little bit of this, a little bit of that, is uh, a vice that's been sitting in my dad's shop, you know, since we moved to that house in 86, and uh, 
it is on my list of candidates for restoration. It's a Prentice vise made by the Prentice Vice Company in New York. I can't find any dates on it. Um, I don't think it's ever really had anything done to it, as you can see in the photos. Um, but look for that on a future episode. I'm going to take that off his bench and, and give it a good cleanup and lubrication. So that'll be a nice project. If you have any comments on that particular uh, vice, uh, let me know, because I don't know that much about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. It's Matt uh, with you. It's uh, Friday night about 6 o'clock and I got some goodies from work. They are changing over to LEDs and the electricians gave me some of the lights. So hopefully I'm going to score another set on Monday so I can put them on both sides of the garage. But the question is, how do I mount these? They look, they, they came out of a drop ceiling. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. We'll leave it in the comments. Thanks. So today's project is I installed a dimmer survey motion sensor switch in the pantry. So when the kids walk away, the light will go off in about a minute. So pretty awesome. Alright guys, the project for today is I converted my fluorescent fixtures to LED and I wired them up and the best part was the LED bulbs were free from work. They were uh, changing over to more efficient LEDs, so I snatched these guys up and they are working great. And as you can see, they're putting out a lot of nice light and uh, I like them. So thanks work for the uh, LED bulbs. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop and the Super Wrench Bench. And it is a nice Saturday before Mother's Day and uh, I just did the uh, LED conversion and I was cleaning up around the garage and I remembered I bought this plastic face shield, but it didn't fit this. So I was thinking and thinking and I came up with, I had a little bin or a, a little assortment of machine screws. So what I did was I drilled some holes and bolted it on. So now it's on there nice and tight. And I have saved my face shield from the dump. So we'll continue to use that. Now, this is going to be included in a quick projects video coming up. So you'll see it there. You also may see it on Instagram. Anyway, thanks for watching. So I've been having some audio problems with my phone case, so we're going to try this and see how it goes. I was uh, going to cut some metal today, just some bolts, and I have two hacksaws, and both blades are shot. And I thought, well, no, I, I have another um, hack on somewhere. Look all over, no hacksaw blade. So this is a hacksaw emergency. I'm going to have to break quarantine and go find some. Um, either way, everybody out there stay safe and uh, thanks for watching. Alright, so this is a piece of 4140 steel. It is approximately 12 inches high, about 5.5 inches in diameter, and uh, it's going to serve as a anvil shaped object for the super inch garage what's up everybody welcome back to the super inch garage and i just finished my next project this is my planer stand and if you'll notice it's on rolling casters so i can roll it around the garage anyway <clears throat> that's what this is um catch you in the next video thanks Garage. This is the uh, everyday life series, I guess. I am, uh, this is shed cleanup day, so I organized all my tools, put up a pegboard to hang up stuff so that uh, Mrs. Super Inch can find her gardening implements, 
and added some tools to it. Organ the, oh, I also went through and organized my scrap wood and got rid of junk wood. Uh, let's see, we're going to tilt this up. Pulled out my oak boards, that's white oak from the garage, and hung them up here. The garden shed is uh, looking better than it was. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, catch you in the next video. All right, good morning everybody, it's November 1st. It's Matt back here with you. This is the uh, Super Wrench Garage and the Super Wrench Bench. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's always good to have you back. So. I've decided the lighting situation in the garage is not ideal. So I went to Famazon and uh, picked up the cheapest LED socket light I could. It was about 18 bucks. And we're going to put it up there where that incandescent bulb is. And as you can see, this is about the light level in the garage. So we'll see how that changes when we get that up there. So I'm going to pause and put you on the tripod. All right, everybody. So here's the garage with the lights out. I turn on this side and that's your standard fluorescence. But over the winter, I upgraded my other side. I took out the standard bulb that was way up. Yeah. And I put in Check it out, an LED. So the Super Inch Garage has a little more light. Everybody, this brings our uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that, everything volume one to a close. I'm leaving you with an image of uh, that awesome screwdriver, the perfect handle I have, uh, post buffer. Uh, this is about 25 minutes. If you made it this far, you are excellent as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And remember, use your head for more than a hat rack, and we'll see you in the next video.